The Rubenstein Tabe syndrome is a relatively rare genetic syndrome that has a number of associated features. These include intellectual disability to varying degrees, as well as some physical features which are fairly distinctive for the disorder. Most of the literature supports that it's one in 100,000 to 125,000. The possibility of running into another family in your community that has a family member with RTS is very difficult. Running into a doctor that's seen it before, that kind of understands it, even more difficult. The average age of diagnosis is about 15 months. However, it can occur in different life stages depending on the individual. Some receive a diagnosis at birth when health issues arise. Others may show the physical signs of RTS, which prompts physicians to investigate further. First of all, tell the family what you're suspicious of. If you're not certain what the diagnosis is, let the family know that you're calling in a specialist like a geneticist and that there will be some testing that will probably be done before you can resolve a diagnosis. There are two types of RTS. The first is a result of mutations on the Krebs BP gene located on chromosome 16, and it causes the majority of cases of RTS. Individuals who have a large deletion of the Krebs BP gene, where the entire gene is deleted and some additional genes beyond it, may have a more severe picture. RTS type 2 is less common, where the genetic mutation happens on the EP300 gene on chromosome 22. Those who have an EP300 mutation are more likely to have milder degrees degrees of intellectual disability than those who have the Krebs BP mutations. The recurrence risk is low for couples who have had a child with Rubenstein Tabe when no one else in the family has it. The chance for a second or third child of theirs would be less than 1%. But for the individual who has RTS, there's a 50% of them passing that on to each of their future children. Similar to other syndromes, uh, children with Rubenstein Tabe may not grow at the same rate as typical children, and therefore there have been some Rubenstein Tabe specific growth charts that have been published that may be helpful to guide the ongoing care of children with RTS. They're going to need more medical visits than other um, children typically will because they can also have some internal medical problems like congenital heart disease and things like that. I often want to make sure I'm comprehensive and not missing things, and so I tend to take a head-to-toe approach. Individuals with RTS may need to see cardiology, dermatology, gastroenterology, genitourinary, neurology, oncology, hematology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, and respiratory specialist for care. One of the things that's important for any kid with a rare condition is that you still do the usual pediatric care that you would for any child. So the periodicity schedule for well care, dental care, immunizations are all really what should happen for all children with Rubenstein Tabe syndrome. The other thing to recognize in children with RTS is that they can have varying developmental delays. So linking to early intervention systems and therapies is really helpful for families in their journey. The best way to find other patients who have the same condition is through support groups and networks, and that's how we've been able to do it here at Cincinnati Children's. The younger families just are kind of at a point where they just want as much information as possible. They may be, you know, within a very short period of time of knowing exactly what this is, and so they are just really, really encouraged to see that families are out and about and doing things and hearing about the older kids who are in school and what their experiences are and watching them do and go like kids do and go. And I think the families that I've known for a long time would say there were ups and downs in their road and that their child brings them joy to their family in ways that they weren't expecting. But certainly individuals with RTS can live a long time and every child is their own unique person. And so we walk together to figure out what a child needs and who they're going to become.